Now here's a great feature inside of Photoshop that you will definitely enjoy working with and using. And it's called, under the image adjustments, you'll see it right here, and it's called Replace Color. And as you might imagine, it's useful for in any circumstance where you wish to replace the color that you have existing in a particular image. So right now, if you open up Guy in Shirt in the same source files folder that I pointed you to earlier, we are going to attempt to change his white shirt into a different color shirt, for example, like a green shirt or something like that. So to begin with, what I want you to do is to go to the Quick Selection tool, and we'll use it to just quickly click and drag a little bit at a time, come in here, slowly go around that edge, and you get yourself a little area here that you're working with. If you wish, you can also click on the Zoom tool and zoom in on any particular area that you might not have inside here. So it's really important that you've got all of your area selected appropriately. I'm just going to undo that and just come in here and fix that area here. And remember, you can just move this along just holding your space bar to get your hand tool going. And you'll notice I want to get in there and get all these little elements. Notice I don't want this area here selected so I can press minus by using the option or alt and notice I'll just slowly slowly move my way in like that perfect and as you can see here I've got a little bit there now remember square bracket left square bracket excuse me allows you to make this a little bit smaller and we can undo that if you get in there too too much and notice I just did that again so I'm going to undo it one more time. And if you just click, it's having a little bit of extra trouble. So you can go in here and use, for example, the polygonal lasso tool. Remember, holding shift, you can come in here and you can click, 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 come back, click, and come back to your beginning. And that's added that element to it. So very nice got everything pretty much the way I wanted it to look and we've got a very nice selection so command or control minus just zoom out a little bit so now we've got all of these elements included very nicely inside here what I want to do at this point is go to image adjustments you might be asking can I make an adjustment layer no you can't this is something that is going to be applied directly through the adjustments at the top of the menu item so we'll come back to here and say replace color. You may not see much of anything in here. Well, that's why we're going to eye drop the color that we want to replace. Now notice there's a lot of different variations of white in here and we'll get to that dilemma in just a second. Now because we have a selection, what's good about that is not affecting any of the whitish areas here. Notice it's not really white, it's a little bit off. Maybe his shirt's a little dirty. Anyways, so as you can see, I've done that. And one of the things we can do is, what do we want to replace it with? Well, you can, you know, go through your hue and saturation and lightness. But I'm just going to come in here and go towards the greens, for example. And we can choose a green that we want to use. So as you can see, it's making a very different sort of color variation happening inside of our window. Now I'm taking a look over here at this side here. I want to make sure I've got exactly the elements of green that I'm looking for and I'll happily just move my slider up and down, get a green that I want to work with and something that I'm content with. So at this point I'm also going to recognize that there are a lot of portions in here that I'm not actually seeing. So I'm going to now add another color. So I'm going to say, well, not only this color do I want you to recolor, I want you to also recolor this particular color. Huh. And what about this? Excellent. Notice how it still keeps those dark areas so that we have a shadow defined in here that's really quite beautiful to work with. And as you can see, you can also play with this fuzziness, which allows you to determine, as you can see here, how much of the object is going to be affected. But you'll notice you, if you go too high, you may be losing some of the 
content and quality in here around where the ribbing of the undershirt happens to be. So I'm just going to scale that back a little bit. But the fuzziness, the way I have it here, is great. And I'm pretty content with what I see. So if I click OK, the next step would be to say Command or Control D on a PC. And lo and behold, what you have is a new colored t-shirt. It's great. And if I was to press Command Option Z or Edit Undo or Step Backward, Command Option Z, we can see what we would be doing. Command Option Z again. Aha, there it was originally. And if we want to go forward, step forward is Command Shift Z. Command Shift Z again. And we have our deselection. So it's a really great way of selecting just a particular area inside of your document and recoloring only what's inside that document there. So we'll come back and continue with more adjustment tricks.